the end. The end is nigh. Well, of the season anyway. Which is why I've started to expedite the base building process you might notice. First of all, I've gotten rid of that ugly overhanging porch thing, the balcony, because one, I hate it. I have hated it all along. I'm so sorry that you had to endure that being a part of the building for so long. But secondly, and the thing that, you know, made me actually get rid of it once and for all, was the fact that it doesn't make any sense with the interior that I've now got going on. I've been a little self-indulgent this week, or maybe really self-indulgent this week, and have gotten started. Actually, not even started, I may have finished, in fact, the final layout for the majority of the hotel. There might be some more walls to add here, although in the lobby, although I doubt it. Maybe some half walls, just to spruce things up a bit. This grand entryway, or whatever you want to call it, this foyer, is basically... It's all laid out. There are no more walls or anything to add. Stairs! Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you just how useful building the stairs to the restaurant have been. I didn't know I needed these in my life. I can go down, and not just like that, I'm in the restaurant and can get to my storage. And then, and then, and then, I get back up the same way, and it's so much faster than running around here, jumping on this moss block, which will eventually be a tree, by the way, going through here, going through the baby gate, and then down the stairs. All throughout the building process here, I have actually made quite the unintentional mob farm. As you might have noticed, we're in the ocean. So here in this chest are all of the mob drops I've gotten. Just from the mobs that have fallen on my head. Anyway, if we run up here, this is where the hotel rooms are. This is the main main lobby. Not the lobby, the, uh, the hallway. You'll see I did actually get these ochre frog lights, and it turns out I really wanted to put them here where the glass is, but despite them emitting light, they are not transparent blocks. So unfortunately they block the beacon and it just ruins the whole thing. However, if we fly down here to the roof, or to the, to the attic I guess now, I made the floor out of moss so that whenever I figure out what this is actually going to look like, I can quickly remove it with a hoe or whatever. So let's see, this beacon, I think it'll only stick around for the building process. Uh, I think there's no real reason to have it afterward, and even if there is, I want to move it because I like the beacon in the sky. It's cool. You know, it's whatever. But I would really like it if that were actually more like a lighthouse and less like a, well, a beacon. So yes, this is the hallway. And then each of these rooms Again, I haven't started decorating yet, I'm just laying them out. I decided to go for this interesting floor pattern because old hotels often have very busy floors, like carpet designs, and then simple colors with the walls, but I wanted the walls to be a bit warmer because, you know, I've been using this mushroom stem block for basically in the entire rest of the build, and I'd really like to get some other color in there. So yeah, all, the, all four of these rooms, empty. Terracotta walls, just waiting for some interior design. I really look forward to that. And this is how we get to the attic, which I haven't really figured out a use for just yet. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. I'm not even sure these walls are going to stay, you know? But from here, we can look out on our balcony, see the rising moon and the... How does this happen to me every time? You'll notice I haven't put in the windows yet, and that's because I wanted to get the layout first. And I'll be honest, this whole build has been incredibly frustrating, interior-wise anyway, because one, it's not symmetrical, and two, this side and this side don't line up. If you look from above, it forms a diagonal. So already, we have an issue, let me just fly down, here, with the main carpet, it has to go in a diagonal. It looks a little funky, but we'll work with it. So as I was saying with the windows, 
that sort of made an issue like here, where because of the way I've laid out the rooms, I no longer have access to this window because this whole wall is a two block center instead of a one block center. Gosh, dang it, do I hate two block centers. It's like a cardinal sin of building. And then this, this entire door frame here, yeah, we can't use that. You see, if we zoom in through the wall like this, this floor doesn't line up there. It just doesn't work. Next order of business. I did finally come up with a portal design. It's done. I really like it. I think maybe I'll add some more greenery to it afterwards, after it's done oxidizing, and then I can wax it. Because right now, I'm just waiting for it to all turn. I think I decided the shade just before it's fully oxidized. I think that's what I'm going for. And then once that's done, like I said, I'll add vegetation, and then I can finally start adding the vegetation to the walls and start making this place look finished, or more finished anyway. But the exterior is not our concern today at all. My goal for this episode is to get that interior fully decorated, except maybe, like I said, this attic space, which I, I just, I don't know. We're not going to worry about downstairs for this episode. I think we've got enough on our plate here. So anyway, I think it's time we give this place an interior. All right, I'm going to trade with this guy and you can watch the time lapse now. Okay, that is all done, more or less. Mostly less. Well, no, mostly more. You know what? I'm not going to short sell what I've done here today. I've done the entire lobby. 
both sides. I opted for a diagonal desk just to add some more interest. Ignore the bees. They all, all of these hives had bees in them, and I knew that going in, and I placed them anyway. But you know what? I don't have the heart to kill any of them. So until I get the windows in, I guess they could just stay. I mean, I'm not going to put a door here or anything, so let's just let the bees be bees, I guess. Anyway, if we go through here, I didn't get to time-lapse this, or rather I tried to, and then naturally I did the first thing that you shouldn't do when using the replay mod, and that is immediately exiting out of the game after you leave the world. So yes, I lost that, but I got this big A with the frame around it. I've got these portraits, the chandeliers I think are nice. This edge was here before. Now this is the part of the build I'm least satisfied with. This hallway is still very bland. Also, I'm not entirely sure where those mob sounds are coming from. This is the bedroom I showed in the time lapse, as you can see. But if we go to the other ones, yeah, I know, I'll get to you eventually. Shut up. I made each one a little different, have a different theme to them, a different orientation. This is a one guest bedroom versus the other one, which is a two guest bedroom because it has two beds. There's another one over here. Again, different layout, different theme. I opted for these stairs instead of the snow layers because the snow melts under these lanterns. Those mob sounds are really starting to annoy me. This is another two bedroom. Not too much to see here. Honestly, I think this is the most underwhelming of the bunch, but that's just me. Haven't done anything with the closet. I kind of forgot it existed. And then of course, the attic is still empty. Still moss. Let's see what all the fuss is about down here. Hello? Oh, yeah, that'll do. P.S. Let me explain something real quick. This task kind of drove me crazy, and I don't look forward to- oh my goodness. And I don't look forward to doing it again. I usually like interiors. Turns out, if you do enough of them, you start to hate it. You start to loathe it, especially when it throws off your entire video schedule which it definitely did. And by the time I was upstairs, I was practically spamming blocks like, uh, uh, I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, put a plant here, put a flower pot there, head, head. Good enough, moving on. So yeah, didn't really enjoy that. Oh, but maybe there's one last consolation I will have and that's that the portal should be mostly oxidized, hopefully. Let's see how much. Ha 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 ha!